We've previously discussed the need for having a diode in the receiver circuit with a low turn-on voltage, but we haven't yet given a lot of thought to the headphones. Why do the headphones need to have a high impedance? Why won't low impedance headphones work? In order to understand this question, let's look at an example problem. If a peak instantaneous power of 90 microwatts from a very close radio station is intercepted by the antenna, let's find the minimum headphone impedance needed to hear anything. And it's important here to notice the key words, to hear anything. What has to happen in a circuit in order for us to hear anything at all? Well, the diode has to turn on. The diode has to be forward biased for at least part of the signal. So what do we need in order to get this germanium diode to turn on? Well, what we need is for the voltage V to be greater than 0.3 volts at least part of the time. We're told in the problem that the antenna intercepts 90 microwatts. It's important here to recall that a radio wave carries power. It doesn't carry voltage and it doesn't carry current. So watts is really the unit of power for radio waves, for lasers, or any type of electromagnetic radiation. We might recall that power equals current times voltage. When that power is intercepted in the wire, it's going to cause a voltage to be developed. If the voltage is high, then the current is low. If the voltage, on the other hand, is low, then the current would be high. In this particular problem, we want the voltage to be high and we want the current to be low. Power equals V squared over R, and I'm now considering the headphones here to behave something like a resistor. In this particular problem, we're told that the power is 90 microwatts. This is the peak power, so this is going to correspond to the situation where the diode just barely turns on, and that's going to be the border where we can hear something. If I solve this equation for V squared, I get RP, and we know that the voltage has to be greater than 0.3 volts, so V squared has to be greater than 0.3 squared. RP has to be greater than 0.3 squared. And because the power here is the peak power, we can see that the resistance has to be larger than 0.3 squared divided by 90 times 10 to the minus 6, and that unit is going to be ohms. So the resistance of the headphones has to be larger than 1 kilo ohm. If the headphones were to have a resistance that's less than one kilo ohm, then the diode would never be able to turn on because the voltage developed would be too small. Now the current would be higher, but without the diode being forward biased at all, the circuit would behave as if the diode is not there and we know that's not going to work. So a larger headphone impedance for this particular circuit is advantageous.